Yo, friends and followers. Hello, 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 and welcome to another sketch video. In this video, I want to lead you through all my thoughts, all the mistakes and everything um, that happens to me while making a nice black and white sketch, like you can see here in a quick time lapse. Um, it's the name Persky that I painted over here, but we will paint the name um, Scam together. Um, the video is from November. 2022 and I just found it on my hard drive and I thought this might be interesting for you on YouTube um, because um, there won't be that much videos um, in the next future because I'm working on bigger projects and I just wanted to release this. Let's start together. Yo, and the next word that I want to sketch is the name scam so let's sketch scam now I start with an ordinary um, pen so oh, come on a little bit more light over here before we start sketching Oop. soup so, S, K, so we make the, the S and the K leaning to this side, while the A and the M are leaning to the other side, just four letters, pretty easy. And then I would love, I would love to, oh, this is cool, because we got one main bar of a K here and one main bar of the A here, so we can make something like this or something like this. Well, we will see how it all turns out at the end. one of these small endings to the S. This sort of ending, by the way, is something like if the, um, the stroke would continue here and would be chopped. So it makes even sense to put a chip over there. Oh, now you can see that there's not that much space. So we need to go down with the block and make the letters a little bit longer to the bottom to balance it all on the paper. Soup. This is a cl pretty classic ending for the S. I call this this serif, I call it the rabbit. The classic rabbit. Super happy with that ass. Oh, that's a beautiful ass. Boop. Make the K 
decay a little bit more downwards. would go through the K up here. This gives it all a little bit more action. It's time to get up and move a little bit. No. I love this. This is technology. And eraser. Let's erase some of the pencil lines. Scam. And by the way, hello friends and followers, voiceover Smo is there as well. And I'm uh, maybe giving you some extra information, so <laughs> we will see. I can just see on the timeline that I won't be talking for a long time and I'm just doing some tryouts of the combination between the K and the A. The question is, who is slicing who? Is the A slicing into the K or the K into the A? To be honest, I'm not that happy with the top part of the A. Maybe I will give it such an ending like the S already has. And this is such a good idea. Very good, smell. So much better. <laughs> it definitely gives the A a little bit more flow and it looks more elegant than the bulky straight bars yeah this is better this is better better it is it is my philosophy for letters always was that I don't want to invent anything new I don't want to add too much new stuff like own spikes or own weird this thingies. Beautiful. Beautiful. And having an ending Scam. that actually is just a chopped off stroke is perfect. It fits perfectly to the philosophy of me 
to not invent anything, just to take the stuff that is already there and work with it. Okay, I think I will change the first idea and I will lean. Because somehow the S does not look like if it was leaning into this direction. It leans more to this direction because of the middle part. And um, so this is leaning to this side, this side, this side, and then we make the M into the M the same like the the K, it is leaning to the right side. This makes more sense because then I can close uh, this gap over here pretty easily with an M that is going like this. It is super weird because when I was seeing how I was sketching the S, it is. I was so fascinated that I was able to say it would be leaning to the right side. It is so obviously leaning to the left side. And now we got a nice rhythm, left side S, right side K, left side A, right side M. And then... I think we make this one in round because we got this round part here so and then the the M has a round part as well and then we can think about some extensions because we got a little bit of room to the sides and I would love to have some some arrows or something. What I always love is an arrow that is coming out of the top part of S. I've done this so many times and I still love it so much. A single connected extra bar that ends in an arrow that is facing into the direction of the piece. Now, and if we got something like this on the left side, it would be cool if we had something similar on the right side as well. And if we put this one a little bit down, we could use the top part of M to make an arrow over here with a nice symmetry. And this is what we will definitely be doing. And I have to put the M a little bit down because it is so much higher on the horizontal line than the S. So if they mm -hmm. are, if the two arrows are starting on the same height, so uh, it looks. A bit more down. It lo just looks better. Just get it down, 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 down. <laughs> Yay! There's still a little bit more space here like there, so I will chop this one off. It's the chop trick. And I will not chop it here. Oh no, oh this is interesting. We will make an, just a chip on the left side, but we will chop it off here as well, but give it a lid. Just to extend it a little bit more, or maybe we will make something with the M. Hmm. <laughs> we will see. Yeah, there are so much possibilities to close gaps, to adjust the sketch on the piece of paper by extending um, bars. And I always love to, to, to work with the main parts of a letter that give the letter the identity. And the endings of the single bars, they can still adjust the piece or the, adjust the sketch on the paper and um, give, give the letters some extra power with some additional flows or extra elements and stuff.
Ah, we because something over here there's something missing. I will add a little one over here, like O N E. So we got scam one, and we got a nice gap filler over here when we use just the one. And I think then we are already done and we can start doing. So I will shorten the A a little bit. Because I think it's absolutely enough when it's like this. And the M. So I think the M needs to be on top. Yeah, it is always important to make a decision which letter is on top of which letter and it depends on how important are the parts that are visible or not visible and as the main parts of the A are visible the A definitely does not suffer in any way when the M is on top but the M it definitely needs to be on top because um, otherwise if the A would be on top of the M the, um, very important okay. parts of the M would be covered and yeah it's it would not be a good decision to put the A on top of the M so this is something that I'm always thinking about which letter is on top of which and is it covering important I parts open the M a little bit more yeah and opening the M a little bit more makes sense as well because it will make the M a little bit more smooth. Well, okay. And now, now, as we are, as we have the K, <laughs> and I want such an ending, but the only open end would be over here, would not, would not make sense. Then we had like three endings beside each other. The A is extremely beautiful. Maybe, maybe I will change something to the K and I will stop it here, make this ending. Ah, yeah, I will do it like that. This makes so much more sense, yeah. And it would be cool if the K was a little bit longer and would connect with the M over there. This would be cool. Yeah, this is beautiful. And uh, there. I think some chips will do the job. Or maybe, maybe I will make it, make the K just a tiny bit thicker. Give it such a little bit more of thickness. Yeah. But if I add a chip here as well. This is good. So now we can see that it is beautiful. Beautiful as it could be. Section line here, there, there. Maybe two over there because we're so funky today. And one section line there as well. Both good. Just a little bit more power, a little bit more bending. 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 Must this stop in video? Yes. I do a video. I do a video for my friends and followers because they love this stuff so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
Um, no. Oh, there was the one. I was talking about the one and now I didn't do it. Such a shame, such a shame. So now we make a funny one over here with a small E, with a lowercase E. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Skip! But, 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 but. We got a nice load of chips over here. One, two, three, and just one on the right side. So we need at least a little bit of chip power on the right side as well. So maybe we'll extend the M like this. And But the right side also has the one. And a lid here. Yeah, yeah. Close the gap. Close the gap. This is good. It would add some weight. It would absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is so nice. This is so nice. And then we can add another lid over here as well. Maybe like there. Maybe. Maybe. Or not. Not. No, we won't do this. I think that everything else will be managed with the background. Background. The background. Is your background? You need to think about the background. So, and now we can see that this is there's still a little bit space left for the for the nice block. So block, 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 block. All the blocks are facing into the direction of the Beautiful vanishing point. I don't know why it is called the vanishing point. In German language, it's the Fluchtpunkt. Is the Flucht of English? Was heißt Flucht auf Englisch? Flight, the flight point. <laughs> so, 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 so. Okay, 
add some tiny blocks between the letters. And they are always getting thinner and thinner until to the point where the one letter is slicing with the other letter. Um, I can show this to you with this example. You can see that this letter is slicing with this letter. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, like this you can see the M is slicing with the S and the tiny block of the M is getting thinner and thinner and thinner until it is there where it is slicing with the S and on the other side suddenly over there the tiny block starts and is suddenly visible. Or here with the O where the O is slicing with the M. This is the point where it is slicing. The block is getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until it disappears. And on the other side of the deadline, I call these lines the deadline, uh, until to the slicing where the deadline appears and then the block of the M gets thicker and thicker. So helpful to have something like this. So, and as the middle part of the M is not slicing with the A at all, it is just overlapping, the block is completely visible. Visible. It is visible. <laughs> Scam. Such a good name. If I could choose my name again, I would call myself Scam. It is such a nice name. Cool. Okay. So we got some super new Copic markers. Oh, beautiful. But when the video is so that we're in the Oh, yeah. And, and you can buy all the markers that I'm using because I put a link in the description, it's an affiliate link. Oh, wow, a brush marker. A thin brush marker. Uh, I will try them later. I want to work with such a marker. Why is it so short? It's such a short marker. Okay, let's do some black, beautiful black outlines. And I lost some hair.
will do all the thin lines later with one of the thinner markers. Look. Max möchte auch noch einen Kaffee. Hey Wi-Fi, do you want a coffee? Yeah, give my hand. Okay. Okay, I'm coffee thirsty. I will make a little coffee break. Real quick. Oh. There is the coffee. Wifey, coffee for you. Coffee for me. Skip. And tiny edges like this, they show that this bar is ending over there. And just this tiny edge here gives you the information that the bar goes here and goes here, probably like this. And then we can, we have so much more information about this bar just because of this tiny edge. And I could have added over here, but this bar is somewhere ending in the middle of the of the A. No. Could make a little edge over here. Oh yeah. But I, I will leave it like that. It can't be everything 100 percent super perfect. Or let's say it can be perfect, but only for a tiny amount of time. And then suddenly you discover a tiny flaw somewhere. And after a while, you discover even more tiny flaws. And then a lot of years later, you would do everything different even if it was perfect for this tiny second or maybe a few days. Yeah, and this is something that 
that is super crazy because I'm chasing this perfection. I'm chasing this moment when I I can say, wow, this is like, it's it's perfect. Even if I know that this feeling will disappear, it will disappear 100% because you're always improving, you're always getting more knowledge. The more you practice, the more you paint, the better you get and... Yeah, you have to you have to um, get better and better and better in in different ways. And recently, I I noticed that I need so much more time that I can't satisfy myself anymore if I rush. I'm I'm I need to take more time for my pieces. Um, Like, for example, the piece that I painted in um, in Brazil. I had so much time for all the tiny details and everything. And I don't want to do so much stuff where I have to rush. I was rushing a lot, um, especially because I was doing the, the weekly upload. And this is this is something that I learned. I want to take more time for the tiny details. To make it perfect. So I've made it a little bit longer over here because the outline of the E and the outline of this ending of M were a little bit too close together, in my opinion. So even after the first lines, you can still make some adjustments with the outlines. Look. Tiny block, tiny block. Chip, chip, chip. A little bit of tiny block. Sub. Sub. Okay. So scam will get. What 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 kind of background will he get? I think I think he needs some sort of a classic background. I would love to make the crackle background. That is like this polygonal crackles. Pretty classic background. But like you like you know, I love the classic stuff. Nothing too fancy, no laser, neon glitch effect stuff. That hides the beauty of the letters. No, no, no. It all needs to be balanced and beautiful. <sighs> Crackle here. Crackle there. Crackle de crackle. Crackle mackle. So now let's see if we got a pretty thin one of these liners. He is already pretty thin. 0.1. 0, 0 0.3 seems to be the number of beautiness. Oh yes. 
Wow, this is so sharp. Sharp. Cool. Zup, zup, zieh zup. Zup. Beautiful. So 0 0.3 and 1.0. These are the two fine liners that I used so far. And um, and I will choose. I will choose the neutral eight for the block. Pretty dark. The five and the three. This is enough. Uh, the five for the crackles and the three for um, some shadows within the fill-in. And where is my eraser? He's here. Okay, let's continue. The last outlines. Outlines of the block. Zup, 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 zup. Zup, zup, zup. I did not choose the colors um, of the Copic markers because I exactly know that this is the right color. I just choose a very dark gray, a middle gray, and a light gray. Um, yeah, that's basically everything. But I will change the colors because I didn't test them before. And um, I was never taking that much care care about which number it is and number eight is it is still like the same like black number eight number nine number ten and uh, the 110 special black they're all nearly the same color they're all just extremely dark gray so I will change I will change these three copics later This is black. <laughs> this is exactly black. This is not a dark gray. Oh man. Okay, I will take a little bit lighter gray. And somehow I will fix this. So let's take the number six. Maybe the number six. Let's see how dark the number six is. Yeah, this is a dark gray. And it looks exactly the same on camera. Yeah, but it is a it is a dark gray, a very very beautiful dark gray. And I didn't want to make it black because I wanted to have the um, the option to make some um, block effects. 
with black in the block. So it is, uh, it is always good to have a little bit of contrast between black of the outlines or of the block effects and the fill-in color of the block. So if you are sketching for about 52 minutes already and you're just listening to my beautiful voice <laughs> while sketching yourself, um, don't hesitate to put your Instagram in the comments section so that I can check out who is watching my videos because I'm always um, curious to learn more about my friends and followers. And um, enjoy me being quiet and filling in the block for some time. Beautiful.
Um, by the way, if you want any information about uh, the paper, the paper that I'm using is Munken Polar. Um, it's the perfect paper. It's Munken Polar, right? My wife was laughing. It's Munken Polar. Und? Kannst du nicht. Hä? Sag dir doch. Sag ich dir nicht. Okay. Ich weiß es nicht. Aber es steht auf der Webseite. I think it's 350 gram each square meter. Okay, I was lying, it's just 300 gram each square meter, not 350, but it's Munken Polar. Man weiß es ja nur, wo man studiert hat. Man weiß, weil die zwei Bier gut ist. Sonst wäre es ja einem total scheißegal. Ja. My wife said that she just knows about paper because she studied graphic designs. And regular people don't care Sie about paper at all. Ich habe nicht Grammatur von 300 Quadrat. Deswegen ist schon geil, dass ich diese voll viele Pakete gekauft habe. Ja, deswegen haben die die auch nicht mehr. Du hast die alle gekauft. Krass, das haben die echt nicht mehr. And we ordered several boxes of this uh, paper to have them in stock and uh, now they are not available anymore at the online shop where we bought the Munken Polar paper. But it's a very good paper. It's um, uh, light proof and um, it's doesn't it does not get, get yellow uh, when the sun is shining on it and You can paint very well on it. It does not feel like plastic. It has a really good feeling. Um, yeah, it's a good paper. And what I love about this paper as well is that it is so thick that when you're painting on it, it does it does not get up and down because when <laughs> come on, Nova, stop talking, please. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please. I love you. Um, what I love also about um, the, 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 the thick, thicker paper is when you're painting on it and 
of course your hands are a little bit sweaty and of course the paper is a little bit suffering and when you have cheap paper it starts to get wobbly just because you're painting on it because um, you're applying paint on it and it gets wobbly and then it is always going up and down, up and down, up and down when you're painting. And I hate this. It is so annoying when you don't really know exactly when the tip of your marker is touching the paper because it is everywhere in a different height because it's getting wobbly. And this paper, it stays like a flat surface all the time. Even if you paint with markers on it, it does not, it does just does not get wobbly. And this is what I really love. And the markers, they are not bleeding. Uh, if you have cheap paper, very often it happens that you're doing outlines and at the end of the outlines, there's always the line getting a little bit thicker and bleeding out because the paper is soaking so much. I don't, I don't like, I don't really don't like to paint on, on bad paper anymore. I've painted so long on regular um, copy copy paper for the for the printer 80 gram each square meter cheapest paper but you will see the dif difference if you paint on quality paper This is looking good. Good. So now I will not take the five, I will take the four for the for the crackles. Because otherwise there would be no difference. I can't see if there still is some coffee in my in my coffee cup. Uh, I hate it. Yay! Okay, I need a little bit of crackle over here as well. Some more crackle!
give me the crackle. Oh yeah. Oh, daddy, there is the crackle. Good, good. So, oh, the crackle at the top, I forgot it. Okay, okay, so and the next step, we add a little bit of Rob Shadow. Shadow here, shadow there. Uh, shadow there, oh no, this makes no sense. This was wrong. Okay. Ship happens. Should have been white over there, but yeah, I was too fast. I was too fast. Oh, maybe this nice guy, the E needs a little bit of. Shadow as well. Block. Snow, shadow and block. You painted a block. S makes a shadow. This thing makes a shadow. I would love to add, add, add a little bit more black to it. If I use As usual, I make the outlines at the outside of the piece, or at the outside outside of the sketch, a little bit thicker. This increases the contrast between the letters and the paper or the background, and it just looks nicer. It just looks better, in my opinion. Make it more black. I don't make all outlines thicker, just here and there. I always uh, ask myself, does it make sense over here? Does it help the overall look over here? And then I make it thicker.
Okay, I think I, I need a little bit of venom spit. More venom spit. You know, the black smoke smoke. Like here. Here, going there, being here, One point zero, and I I sketch all around the gray crackle effect in the background, and this will give the sketch such a nice effect. You can see it in a second, because I decided not to fill um, this small smoke just in pure black. I wanted to make this cross hatching effect. I don't think I want to make it black. Exactly. Will I make it black? No, don't do it. Will I make it black? No. I don't know. I'm not sure. I will. I will make the stripes. <laughs> yeah, this is so beautiful. I'm so in love with this cross hatching stripes. And this is what I was talking about. I do these stripes everywhere where is no gray um, fill in of the crackles. Oh yeah, this is cool.
Okay, maybe I will add a little bit there as well. Yo, friends and followers, and as usual, when we're slowly coming to an end, the style looks already close to some sort of perfection. It's time to say a big thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Thanks a lot to the Helpy Gang um, for supporting me with just five bucks each month. And yeah, they have seen this video already in November. Um, yeah, and I will work on some more videos that will be exclusive for the patrons, but um, mainly these nice people that you see on the right side are just people who want to support me to make it possible to make these videos that you can see right now. And I'm already looking forward to do more this year. Yo, thank you. Ah, and if you want to see your name at the end of the video, Patreon link is in the description. So, and now we add a little bit of tiny black details here and there. Of course, my broken halo heart is missing and I don't want to put it in the middle over there. I, recently, I'm always putting it a little bit more to the right side. I will do it here as well. So, we got the heart flying over there and some black chips here and there.
adding some more emotion to the piece. And also I want a little bit of gray designs within the letters. Ah, and as you are obviously, obviously still here after 79 minutes of intense sketching, um, I want to tell you that the smoke class is available again. The smoke class, you can find it on smonova.de. This is my website. And it's an online class with 26 pre-recorded videos. And it's in combination um, of the videos and the group chat where you can upload all your sketches and you will get my feedback and also the feedback of the other classies, I call them like that. So you can become a classy as well. Um, and recently we are 35 um, classes in the smoke class. And if you cool. want to learn all the tips and tricks and stuff that I've learned during the last 24 years of sketching, check it out, smonova.de. I think this might be interesting for you. You will find the link in the video description and in the pinned comment. So, yo scam, yo scam. If you want to learn to paint like I paint, um, check it out. Sponova <clears throat> 22, we're done. <laughs> oh, great! <clears throat> What a beauty, what a beauty. I like it. Okay, these are the final detail shots. See you in the next project. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button. And I hope you were a little bit entertained and I make some weird movements with my hand. Bye bye.